proper operation of a transmission or distribution line is highly dependent upon the proper working of insulators. A good insulator should have a good mechanical strength to withstand the mechanical load and stresses. It should have a high dielectric strength to withstand operating and flashover voltages. Also, an insulator must be free from pores or voids, which may damage it. Therefore, to ensure desired performance of insulators, each insulator has to undergo various tests. Testing overhead line insulators is crucial for ensuring the safety and reliability of electrical power systems. This process includes various tests such as flashover tests, performance tests, and routine tests, which evaluate the insulator's ability to withstand high voltage, mechanical stress, and environmental factors. These tests are essential to prevent electrical faults and short circuits, thus avoiding potential fires, equipment damage, and accidents. By ensuring the integrity and robustness of insulators, the tests help maintain a continuous and efficient power supply, reducing power losses and ensuring that electricity reaches its destination effectively. Ultimately, testing insulators ensures the stability and efficiency of the entire power transmission and distribution network. Testing overhead line insulators is vital for the safety and reliability of electrical power systems. These tests include flashover tests, performance tests, and routine tests that assess the insulator's ability to withstand high voltage, mechanical stress, and environmental conditions. By preventing electrical faults and ensuring robust insulator performance, these tests minimize the risk of fires, equipment damage, and accidents. This process helps maintain a continuous and efficient power supply, reduces power loss, and ensures that electricity is delivered effectively. Overall, testing insulators is crucial for maintaining the stability and efficiency of the power transmission and distribution network. The proper functioning of transmission or distribution lines heavily relies on the effective performance of insulators. A high-quality insulator must possess strong mechanical strength to endure mechanical loads and stresses, and high dielectric strength to withstand operating and flashover voltages. Additionally, it should be free from pores or voids that could cause damage. To ensure insulators perform as expected, they must undergo various tests. Testing of overhead line insulators, the following types of tests are conducted on overhead line insulators, first flashover tests, second performance tests, third routine tests. Let us discuss flashover tests. Three types of flashover tests are performed to ensure an insulator passes the flashover test. One power frequency dry flashover test. Two power frequency wet flashover test. 3. Impulse Frequency Flashover Test Power Frequency Dry Flashover Test The insulator is mounted as it would be in actual use. A variable power frequency voltage source is connected between the insulator's electrodes. The voltage is gradually increased to the specified level, which is below the minimum flashover voltage. Flashover voltage is the point at which the surrounding air breaks down and becomes conductive. The insulator must withstand this specified voltage for one minute without experiencing flashover. Power frequency wet flashover test rain test. In this test, the insulator is also mounted as it would be in use. A variable power frequency voltage source is connected between the electrodes, similar to the dry test. Additionally, the insulator is sprayed with water at a 45 angle, ensuring precipitation. Precipitation does not exceed 5.08 millimeters per min. The voltage is gradually increased to the specified level and maintained for 30 seconds to 1 minute. The insulator is observed for puncture or breakdown. If the voltage is maintained for 1 minute, this test is also known as the 1 minute rain test. Impulse frequency flashover test, this test ensures the insulator can withstand high voltage surges caused by lightning. The insulator is mounted as in the previous tests. An impulse voltage generator, producing very high voltage at several hundred kilohertz, is connected to the insulator. The voltage is applied, and the spark over voltage is recorded. The impulse ratio, which is the ratio of impulse spark over voltage to power frequency spark over voltage, should be approximately 1.4 for pin type insulators and 1.3 for suspension type insulators. Performance tests of insulators Temperature cycle test Puncture voltage test. Mechanical strength test. Electromechanical test. Porosity test. Temperature cycle test. In this test, 
The insulator is first heated in water at 70 C for one hour, then immediately cooled in water at 7 C for another hour. This cycle is repeated three times. Afterward, the insulator is dried, and its glazing is inspected for any damage or deterioration. Puncture voltage test, this test determines the puncture voltage of the insulator. The insulator is suspended in insulating oil, and a voltage is gradually applied until puncture occurs. The voltage at which the insulator punctures is called the puncture voltage, typically 30% higher than the dry flashover voltage for suspension type insulators. Mechanical strength test, in this test, the insulator is subjected to 250% of its maximum working load for one minute to determine its ultimate mechanical strength. Electromechanical test, this test is specific to suspension type insulators. A tensile stress of 250% of the maximum working tensile stress is applied, followed by testing the insulator for 75% of its dry spark over voltage. Porosity test, in this test, a freshly manufactured insulator sample is broken into pieces. These pieces are then immersed in a 0.5% to 1% alcohol solution of Fuchsin dye under a pressure of 150 kg per centimeter square for several hours, typically 24 hours. Afterward, the pieces are removed from the solution and examined for dye penetration, which indicates the degree of porosity. Routine tests of insulators. High voltage test. Proof load test. Corrosion test. High voltage test. This test is usually conducted on pin insulators. The insulator is inverted and placed in water up to the neck, with the spindle hole also filled with water. A high voltage is applied for 5 minutes, and the insulator should remain undamaged. Proof load test. In this test, each insulator is subjected to 20% more than its working mechanical load such as tensile load for 1 minute. The insulator should remain undamaged. Corrosion test. In this test, the insulator with its metal fitting is suspended in a copper sulfate solution for 1 minute. The insulator is then removed, wiped, and cleaned. This process is repeated four times. The insulator is then examined for any metal deposits, which should be absent. Let me summarize all this again. To ensure electrical insulators perform optimally and avoid failure, each insulator must undergo several tests. Before delving into these tests, it's important to understand the various causes of insulator failure, as the quality of the insulator directly impacts its likelihood of failure. Causes of insulator failure, insulation and electrical power systems can fail for several reasons. Let's explore them. Cracking of insulator, porcelain insulators are composed of three materials, the porcelain body, steel fittings, and cement that binds the steel to the porcelain. Due to varying rates of expansion and contraction caused by changing climate conditions, these materials can crack. Defective insulation material, if the insulation material is defective, it is prone to failure at its weakest point. Porosity in insulation materials, low temperature manufacturing can make porcelain insulators porous, causing them to absorb moisture from the air. This reduces insulation effectiveness and allows leakage current, leading to failure. Improper glazing on insulator surface, poor glazing allows moisture and dust to create a conductive path, reducing the flashover distance and increasing the risk of failure. Flashover across insulator, flashovers can overheat the insulator, potentially causing it to shatter. Mechanical stresses on insulator, manufacturing defects can create weak points that may break under mechanical stress from the conductor. Understanding these causes helps in designing effective tests to ensure the insulator's quality and minimize the chances of failure.
Thank you. 